Hi guys, I'm Max Weinbach with XDA TV, and today I'm going to show you how to in uh, install TWRP and root the Xiaomi Mi 9 with Magisk. Let's get started. Okay, so before you get into your fast boot and everything, you're going to need to do a couple things on your phone first. So Xiaomi has an annoying unlock period where you have to wait a certain amount of time before you can unlock your bootloader. But to be able to actually start that waiting period, you need to go onto your phone, go to About Settings, type MIUI version a couple times. You can see I'm running the beta, but it's the same thing on normal beta, it doesn't matter. It's the same process. So you're going to want to tap, tap MIUI version until you have a developer mode enabled. Then you're going to want to go down and in additional uh, settings, you're going to want to go to developer settings. And now you see I have the me unlock status down here. Before you can, before you tap that, you're going to want to enable OEM unlock, but then you're going to want to tap this. And before you do anything, normally it's going to say add account, but I've already unlocked my phone, so I don't have that option. But if you haven't, you're going to need to put a SIM card in your device and use data uh, and add your account to the phone. After you do that, you'll be able to continue on to the next step. So now that you already have your unlock enabled, you're going to want to reboot your phone to fast boot. You can do this by holding down, uh, by shutting off your phone, and then once it's off, turning it back on while holding down your volume down key. And once you do that, you're going to want to open the Mi Flash Unlock. Um, I will link this down in the description so you guys can just download it quickly, but I already have the files I will need right here. So you're going to want to open this and then open your Mi Flash Unlock EXE. Now, Xiaomi again needs a, requires an unlock period. So you can see I have it here. Let me just, just reopen it for you guys. Agree. And then you're going to need to sign into your Xiaomi account. Let me sign into mine real quick. Okay. And I am in my account. So it's checking if my account has permissions. And once this happens, you can see it's going to check your phone connected. And now you can see unlock will erase user data. So I'm just going to unlock. Now I'm going to unlock again, even though my device is already unlocked, but this is the exact same process. Okay. Unlock again. It wants to make sure you know what you're doing. Now it's going to verify your device to make sure that um, you don't have to wait the period, or if you do, uh, you're going to have to go through. Then it's going to unlock it and be done. Since I'm already unlocked, as you can see up here, I'm done. But this is this in this area of the unlock process, it will tell you if you have a waiting period or not. Um, again, you just do the exact same thing, but your device will be unlocked, assuming it is not already. Okay, and I'll just click unlock again just to show you guys. It'll probably come up with the same already unlocked error. Yeah. Okay, now I'm still in fast boot, but your device will most likely reboot and erase. Now you're just going to want to reboot to fast boot again. And once you do that, you're going to want to open up your command prompt and make sure you have ADB and fast boot enabled, uh, installed. I'll link you to an article below on how to make sure you have that installed just so you can. Um, if not, you can use the latest platform tools and just go to that folder. Uh, I prefer having it installed system wide because it makes life easier. Now you're going to want to type in fastboot flash recovery and drag the TWRP file over and then hit enter. This will flash the recovery to your device. And now you're going to want to do fast boot, reboot, and while it reboots, you're going to want to hold power button and volume up to get into TWRP. And once it gets into TWRP, you will move your magisk file over with the ADB sideload command, or ADB push, push uh, magisk to slash SD card slash. Now you can do this without having to uh, 
run this command to push it, but I like to keep a copy of it on my device in case there's an update and I need to reflash it. And enter. I was using an earlier version, so it's just switching over, and it's over on my device. And now we will continue back on the device. Okay, now if you have followed along with me properly, you should be to the exact same point I am at. Um, you should have just moved the magisk zip over to your device with the adb sideload command or adb push command now you're just going to want to go up to install go down and then go to magisk 19.1 and then swipe to continue should go through and once it goes through and flashes the boot image this can actually take a little bit of time to making a backup in case you want to unroot your phone you can just hit reboot system now you can wipe cache but i stopped doing that a while ago. It didn't really seem to make much of a difference. But now my device is going to reboot, and once it's rebooted, it will be rooted with Magisk. So I'll just wait for this for a second. Reboots can take a bit of time right after this, right after flashing root. And now Magisk Manager, as you can see, that just appeared. You can open it up, and I am on Magisk 19.1 uh, and Magisk Manager 7.1.2. These are both the latest versions. It was just released a couple days ago. Yeah, so now I am fully rooted with Magisk. And uh, the Mi 9 has TWRP installed and Magisk. Now, if you're looking to install any ROMs or GSIs, you have TWRP already in, on the device. So all you'd have to do is reboot to your recovery and sideload anything from there making it super simple and easy to do it. And again, I am running the global beta, but this is the exact same process for any Xiaomi device, uh, not just the Mi 9. But this video is specifically for the Mi 9. So uh, thank you guys for watching, and let me know if you guys have the Mi 9, and if you're actually going to be uh, installing this and rooting your device with uh, and installing TWRP.